Ah, time to relax. Professor Hanneman, do you have a moment to talk? Of course, of course, Miss Dorothea. Whatever is on your mind. I heard you were once a member of the nobility, and you surrendered your title to come here. Indeed, I was a noble once. Why are you so curious about that? I knew there was something noble about your speech and your perfect manners. You're always impeccably dressed, too, and you have a certain pride about you. What interests me is that you threw it all away. Why? I threw nothing away, child. In fact, by stepping away from its trappings, in my heart I feel closer than ever to the true meaning of nobility. How so? Consider this. At its inception, the concept of nobility assumed that the greatest among the populace would rise to power. In my mind, I believe that means those who value knowledge, those who strive for more and wish to protect and guide their fellow man. However, in practice, nobility often serves to keep those deemed commoners down segregated from those who, by chance, were born to a noble family. That is one of the reasons I decided to leave that nonsense behind and dedicate myself to the study of crests. Though I have abandoned my position, in my mind it was to pursue what I consider to be a truly noble pursuit, that of knowledge. I see. Well, you're definitely a noble in that sense of the word. To pursue such admirable ideas without regard for your social position. How wonderful. Pardon? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I was just very moved by your words. Ah, well, I'm quite pleased to hear you say so. 